news in focus tonight putting global warming on the front burner. British officials said today they plan to make climate change a top priority at the UN Security Council starting next month. In many ways, Europe is way ahead of the United States in tackling the issue. Ten years ago, a tiny island in Denmark began the process of becoming energy self-sufficient without hurting the environment. Mark Phillips takes to the seas to find out the results as we conclude our series, Global Warming, Cool Solutions. It's a two-hour ferry ride to the Danish island of Sanso, and it can seem like a trip back through time. But look more closely. To visit Sanso is to see the future. A future that may look and sound like this. Sanso, area about 40 square miles, permanent population about 4,000, all of them living a green dream. Take farmer Eric Anderson. His tractor runs on oil grapeseed, which he grows. His hot water and power come from his solar panels or wind turbines, not a fossil fuel in sight. It's, all, it's a complete little self-contained energy unit on this farm. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you wanted to establish? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's a very good feeling. And uh, because of the island, it's a renewable energy island, so you have to do something. Ten years ago, Eric and the people of Samso accepted a challenge from Denmark's government. Could they run their farms? Could they power their businesses? Could they lead their lives in an entirely energy self-sufficient and carbon neutral way? Now they have their answer. They can. Because it's a good idea for the environment. To harness the wind, of which they have plenty, they built wind turbines. To harness public goodwill, they sold shares in those turbines to the islanders, so the machines produced local power and local profits. To provide heat, they burn locally grown straw in central plants that produce super hot water and pump it through underground pipes into people's homes. It's not only really more efficient than running individual furnaces, it's carbon neutral. The net greenhouse gas emissions from these plants, zero. So basically it's a system that just recycles. You grow the straw, you burn it, and then when you regrow more straw, that absorbs the carbon that this plant produces. Can it be that simple? This can seem like an ecological fantasy island on a bleak day on this windswept rock sitting in an icy sea. Okay, so this is the test. It's been a freezing cold night, the days are short and cloudy, and the solar heated hot water is hot. I think this could work here. Maybe it could work anywhere. The Samso scheme has been so successful, they've now installed a string of turbines offshore to make surplus power to sell to the mainland. Remember our farmer, Eric Anderson? Like a lot of people here, he's invested in the new wind farm. I make money on a good idea. It's a new dawn on this small island in Denmark where they set out to do good and have ended up doing very well for themselves indeed. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Samso. Wow, Mark. What can we say? By the way, the people who live on Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, of course, were so impressed by what's being done in Samso, they're now using it as a model for their own 10-year alternative energy program.